Good morning, friends. So it's really gloomy outside and it's always a bummer. I love the sunshine. I'm the person that needs like vitamin D super bad, like especially in the mornings. They just make them like a million times better. So I don't know. See, look out there. It's so gloomy. Mm, sad face. Anyway, so this morning I'm going to make a, um, oh, a little protein brownie um, for breakfast. I'm starving, but today is a low carb day. So yesterday was leg day, so I had a high carb day. Now today is low carb day. I love carbs, so yeah, that's life, right? Um, but I'll take you on a full day of eating. Um, hopefully I can snag a glimpse of everything that I eat. Oh, check this out. Isn't this the cutest thing ever that I just got? I'm sorry, my light, lighting's all messed up in here. Look at this cup. Isn't it freaking adorbs? It is so adorbs. Mwah. That's, I love my coffee. Love it. Mm, like I look at this cup and I'm like, you got that right. Like, heck yeah. It's like the perfect, like the best thing ever. And I just got done reading um, today's daily devotional. So yeah, that helped my morning. Just kind of being, um, today is kind of talking about, you know, work, how, you know, God wants us to work six days a week, take, week, take one rest day. And it made you kind of think like, oh, most of the time you don't really think about, you know, what you should be doing. You know, we sit around and we waste time and there's more that we can be doing. But also, you know, you, when you can get up and work, you should. Or when you can get up and do something, you should. And sometimes we, you know, say that we can't. And then when the choice is given to us or the option is given to us, then we don't take that or we realize that we can but we make an excuse not to um that's kind of what i got from it anyway today so it made me realize like yeah you know we do often let things slip by and make excuses you know like if i sit down at work and don't want to get up and take a break to stretch my legs i'm like oh my legs hurt and you know just little things like that so just kind of you know remembering that we can do more um and that we're you know really blessed with you know what we've been given but yeah so we just have to be grateful for that so i'm gonna go ahead and make my jazz look at i got my stuff out there's all my ingredients so we'll get this thing whipped up <laughs> You always gotta lick the spoon, right? I mean, you just can't let that go to waste. Every macro counts. Lick it. <laughs> so, um, I got this. Hey, yeah. The best sound in the house, right? Yeah, yo, check it out. Look at that beauty mess. Oh yeah, love it. And then I'm gonna top it, like I was saying, with this. I got it to try it. I'm not a big fan of it, honestly. I don't know, I'm giving it another try. I may have to take it back and exchange it because it just didn't, it didn't steal my heart, like, like the s'mores one the s'mores one's good stole my heart um but the nuts and more that's my all-time fave i love it it's so bomb it's so tasty mm. and i'm gonna put a little bit of cinnamon because i feel like 
sprinkling something on it this morning so yeah this is the inside I don't know if you can see that oh my hand I almost dripped it on my clean floor but it is kind of runny um, however when I opened it all the oil was sitting on the top and it was like one big chunk and I was stirring and stirring and stirring forever and this is the best I've gotten so far so yeah I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know And there you have it, folks. The final product. Obviously, I don't go for looks with my food. For the most part, I'm not a food artist. But sometimes I try. Sometimes I get a whim and I'm like, yeah, we'll try to make it look all pretty. And most of the time, I just end up mixing it all together and eating it. Because... It's better together, right? Enhances the flavor of everything at once. I don't know. I don't always make sense in the morning. I need more coffee. Anywho, today's Monday. And it's the day after Labor No, it's Tuesday. It is Tuesday, day after Labor Day. But, of course, it feels like a Monday because I go back to work. But... Hoping today will be a good day. My mood won't go whack with this crazy weather. Um, but work out after work and possibly go tanning to get some vitamin D and to get rid of this wicked tan I have going on from summer, especially before the wedding I have coming up. Um, and then we will go from there. Maybe do a little studying. We'll see. But enjoy your day, my love. I broke down at work and I needed a snack. So I packed a couple of these Fit Joys to take to work to have at my desk. And I had one of those. Um, they're not too bad for the macros. 20 grams protein, 25 grams carbs, 7 grams fat, uh, 220 calories. I don't know if it will. So it's not too shabby. Um, the taste overall isn't too bad. Um, it's not my favorite bar, but it's not the worst bar that I've had either. I mean, it's just kind of, I mean, it's a protein option, and it's not too, too bad to eat. I mean, if you're hungry, then it'll tie you over. It's a protein option, but it doesn't compare to my favorite Fit Crunch, um, peanut butter, so yeah. But anyway, I mean, it's not bad, but I have a few of these I'm going to take back to work restock up at my desk so I can have those to munch on instead of going down to the vending machine and I can save some money that way. Anyway, it is lunch time. So here I'm going to eat um, 70 grams of air fried potatoes and I have some 68 grams of chicken breast that I made and a little bit of mustard. I did spray this with spray butter. Um, and a little pepper. I'm not a big salt eater, so there is no salt on that. And I'm going to top it with nutritional yeast, five grams of that, which is one serving, since that gives you three grams of protein and two grams of carbs. So an option, it kind of tastes like cheese, if you haven't heard me mention it before. Um, it's really good. I like it. I like to sprinkle it on things, so yeah, and I actually, actually what I might do is, I probably will, I will use um, three grams of this now and then two grams this evening for supper because I love this with the dish that I'm going to make, so you'll be excited to see it. It's kind of a weird combination that I like to put together, but I'm all about that weirdness, especially food. 
fast, convenient, quick, tasty, different. Yeah, that's how I roll. So stay tuned for that. And we will chat more soon. Supper time! I'm so excited. I went tanning and I think it helped me move a little bit. I gotta get rid of these funky tan lines because I got a wedding coming up in like a week and a half and ugh, I don't know. Hopefully we can fix it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Anywho, supper time! Yeah, yo! So this is my creation. I hope you enjoy it. You need to try it like now. Yeah, for real. So what we have going on what we have going on we got some mm, hickory smoked turkey bacon uh, I just pulled it out of the freezer um, it was pre prepped so I just got to warm it up and I already have some ground turkey that was pre prepped too for lunch but I'm using it for supper 80 grams 20 grams and we're gonna have salad these amazing things if you haven't tried them yet do it these will change your life they're so good I love them so much oh they're my favorite two of these and then we are going to have salsa some cheddar jalapeno oh these are my favorite hot cheetos and then nutritional yeast yes it's gonna be so good here we go I feel much better after my workout. Um, I think it helped. I pushed myself really hard in like just lifting and then mainly for my cardio. Um, I ran the fastest and the hardest that I ever have and my hit circuit that I did. Um, so I was really happy with myself. So yay me, feeling a little better. And then after I eat this, we'll be golden. I love the sound of bacon. I love the smell even better. Perfect. good and on a note to end this when I moved in this was on my cupboard huh how true is that so I left it there because I thought it was cute and I look at it every day when I open the cupboard so it is so true always be yourself nobody else is you Sometimes that can be intimidating because this world wants perfection, but who cares? I'm just a small town me, but if I can help somebody, help somebody feel better, um, find somebody else that's weird like me, and just enjoy life, have fun, treasure the moments and the people that you're blessed with, then... I have lived. So enjoy your evening, beautiful people. Ciao.